Deborah, you mentioned earlier about several concerns that may occur with a Saturn transmission. What type of problems have you seen? Yes, Michelle, the Saturn transmission can exhibit a number of problems. A falling out of gear while at a stop and drive, a bind up in reverse, a no reverse condition, or even a delayed engagement into reverse. Earlier today, I was in the shop where I went through what causes these complaints. Let's take a look. The Saturn transmission, particularly 92 and up, is known to have delayed and or no engagements into reverse when hot. Most of us are familiar with the Warren pressure regulator valve bore in the valve body that causes this complaint, but there's another cause that produces the same complaint, and it's usually accompanied with a soft or flared shift in a second. The problem is here at the end of the main shaft, where the first clutch drum is secured to the shaft by this 23 millimeter or 12 point nut. The main shaft, as you can see here, is hollow. This long third clutch feed pipe in the end cover goes down the main shaft where it's sealed at the tip by a bushing, as you can see in the cross-sectional view we've provided for you in figure two. If you look closely here in the end cover, you'll notice that second gear oil is supplied through the input shaft tub here, and then down the main shaft around the outside of the third clutch feed pipe and into the second clutch drum. That makes this nut not only secure the first clutch drum to the main shaft, but it also seals second gear oil pressure. If this nut loosens, second gear oil leaks past the nut and down the flat on the shaft and becomes lube oil for the main gearbox. Since the second gear clutches are used in reverse and second, this loss of pressure will cause reverse and second gear complaints. It's best to replace this nut with a new one that has a factory thread locker to prevent this problem from occurring after an overhaul. You have the part number for this nut in figure one of your seminar handout materials. And since we're already here in the end cover area of this transmission, it would be good to mention another problem that can occur here. The rings on the input clutch hub seal first gear oil. When these rings shrink or wear, it causes a delay into drive as first gear oil is leaking away. Also, since the second clutches are used in reverse, when reverse is selected and oil pressure is sent to the second clutches, with these rings shrunken or worn, it causes second gear oil to intrude into and apply the first clutch drum, causing a bind up in reverse. You have this information in figures three and four. One other problem that develops after an overhaul is a falling out of drive at a stop. Now this problem is caused by a simple misassembly that could happen to anyone. At first glance, the first, second, third, and fourth clutch return spring assemblies all look the same and they will all interchange easily as the outer cage assemblies are the same dimensionally. What's not the same is the wire diameter of the springs in the caged assemblies. Only one of the spring assemblies contain a 62 thousandths wire diameter spring with eight coils as opposed to the others having 72 thousandths wire diameter springs with nine coils. It's the lighter assembly that belongs in the first clutch drum. If a heavier spring caged assembly is put in the first clutch drum, it can release the first clutch piston during low idle conditions. Of all the lighter spring caged assemblies we've seen to date, they all have been identified by this number seven stamped in the caged assembly. Be sure to always place this style assembly into the first clutch drum.